As the lead singer and songwriter for the 60s band The Velvet Underground, Lou Reed is known as the godfather of punk. People should listen to Lou Reed because he's like a primary color in rock and roll. He was in the Velvet Underground. That's one of those cards that should get you into anything. There's no more seats left on the plane. All right, he's got the Velvet Underground card. Sorry, sir, you'll have to go. Born Lewis Allen Reed in Brooklyn, New York on March 2nd, 1942, Reed was a self-taught guitarist and poet who famously wrote about personal experiences, including heroin addiction and the electroshock therapy he received at 14 to cure his bisexuality. Lou Reed brought to songwriting a fierce intellect and a literate sensibility, meaning that he wanted to address any topic in a song. He saw controversial topics addressed in novels and films all the time, and he felt like this could be done in songwriting. The Velvet Underground began in 1964 and became the house band for Andy Warhol's studio, The Factory. The band's 1967 debut album was named the 13th greatest album of all time by Rolling Stone magazine. The Velvet Underground was the most important band of the 1960s, though ironically, the first album, The Velvet Underground and Nico, was a commercial flop. It was a complete failure. I think it was Brian Eno who said, nobody bought the album, but the people who did formed bands. After leaving the Velvet Underground, Reed's 1972 solo album, Transformer, was co-produced by David Bowie and contained the hit single, Walk on the Wild Side. I've had a chance to interview Lou Reed several times over the years, and when I talked to him about the Transformer album, Lou said he never tires of singing that song because that song gives him the freedom to explore other topics and other songs. In 1996, the Velvet Underground were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And in 1998, Reed earned a Grammy for the PBS documentary, Lou Reed, Rock and Roll Heart. The thing that I love most about Lou Reed is that dispassionate vocal. He always kept it real cool and low key. And I just love the restraint. You know, the sunglasses, the leather jackets. He always had a cool look. And the delivery was always really deadpan. Like he could just take or leave music anytime. And to me, that's just so punk rock. During his career, Reed released more than 16 albums. In 2013, he suffered liver failure and underwent a liver transplant. Lou Reed died on October 27th 2013 at the age of 71. I think Lou Reed is a major part of musical history because he absolutely influenced punk rock, but his influence extended so far beyond that as an artist who stayed true to himself. He shows what it's like to have a career that spans decades.